Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today, we are discussing Tasha K being fed up with her attorney, Olga, and dragging her on the review site, avvo.com. So apparently, Tasha K did a review back in June 5th, 2021, so June of last year, with one star, and it reads the following. It says, will not use this attorney to again. <laughs> Meanwhile, she is completely destroying your case in current state in 2022. Um, but nonetheless, it says posted by Latasha Kibi, June 5th, 2021. Very disappointed with this attorney. I hired her to represent me in a defamation case. Hmm. But I will have to seek another attorney. Olga has on several occasions shown up to court unprepared and unfamiliar with the facts of the case. She advised me to file a countersuit, which I did, but it's clear now that was not the best move. After advising me to countersue, she then doubled back and dropped several counts in the countersuit. So why did she advise me to file it in the first place? At the last hearing, she was stuttering and tripping over her words, and it was embarrassing. An attorney is supposed to exude confidence in their client, but it's like she's not fighting to win the case. She's just going through the motions and showing up to court. After paying her thousands of dollars over the past three years, this case has been tragging on. I'm no better off. I'm counting my losses and moving on. I will be not I will not be using this attorney again. Well, that's a lie because you're still using her. But OMG, what is going on? <laughs> I thought this was gonna be something that like was posted within the last week or so. But the fact that this was posted in June and Tasha K has been advised numerous times, even by the judge, to get new legal counsel, and she still has Olga as part of her defense team, either nobody wanted to represent Tasha or I don't know what's going on or she didn't research enough. I don't know what's happening, but I don't understand if you had this bad of an experience up until last year and you've been dealing with this for three years and still it gets worse and worse for you. Like, why would you still have her as your attorney? Like, make it make sense. You're on the trial of your life in federal court and you feel this way, allegedly, about your attorney and yet you're still showing up to court with her every day. Meanwhile, the judge is dragging you guys every single day and embarrassing you guys every single day. So... I just want to know your guys' thoughts on this because I think this is hilarious. I, of course, have the screenshot of the review in my thumbnail, and I will link the website in my description so you guys can check it out for yourself. And all you have to do is it should just pop up because um, I'm going to link it directly to the review section so you can see for yourself what Miss Tasha Kay thinks about her attorney that's currently representing her in this defamation case. And it's just embarrassing. It's honestly embarrassing. And there's too many details in this review for this not to be Tasha K. So again, it's just, <laughs> it's just hilarious. No wonder Tasha K had all that false confidence last week on, on the stand. She was, <laughs> she was acting independent of her attorney. <laughs> You know what? I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I just, I, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Hopefully Olga doesn't quit since there's only like a couple more days left of this trial anyways. So I don't know what the fallout of this is going to be. I can't believe that this is even existing right now, considering how big the stakes are and everything that's going on with the daily reporting and the daily updates of this trial. Like why this review is just now surfacing all of a sudden. Like, why didn't we get into this beforehand? We should have been into this day one of the trial to just drag all of this. But now that the defense attorney's backs are literally against the wall, they literally are being, being sent home early um, as punishment because they don't have their stuff together and oh man but all that with all that being said though Tasha K still had several opportunities for this defamation suit to never take place so let's just make that very clear once again Cardi B tried several attempts to resolve this issue amicably 
All she wanted Tasha K to do was to take down the videos and Tasha K refused. She provided Tasha K with the correct receipts and because Cardi B didn't want to go on her show and was advised not to go on her show because it would just be a bigger circus, she decides to then take that as an insult and keep lying about her and her medical conditions. Like it was just too much. And so now on the biggest stage in federal court, you guys, you and your legal team are getting completely dismantled, outmatched, outworked, and you guys aren't professional, you aren't prepared, you don't know anything that's happening or going on, and it's just awful. It's just awful and embarrassing. For the judge to get to the point today saying, hey, this is the first thing that you learned the first year in law school, that I should hold you guys in contempt, you guys are incompetent, that's not a compliment. That is a sign that you need to drop these lawyers immediately and just represent yourself at this point. Because, again, there's barely any evidence that's going to be allowed for the defense because they completely screwed that up. And pretty much this trial is over. We just need to get to the closing arguments. Like, let's stop dragging this out when we don't need to. All we need to find out is whether or not this jurid uh, this juror allegedly has, you know, COVID-19 or not, and we will proceed from there. But as far as everything else goes, we need to keep it moving because this is bad. This is very, very bad. So I will, like I said, this the screen grab will be on my thumbnail and I will have a link to this review in my description box. Let me know what you guys think of Tasha Kay dragging this lawyer that she's had for three years, but still continues to pay her to represent her and embarrass her further in court. But with that being said, if you know all of this, Tasha Kay, why is she still your attorney? Like what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I mean, we already know from the judge's comments that the lawyers on the defense team are incompetent. But the fact that you knew this as well last June of 2021 and you still put up with it for three years and still even after that, you still have her as your attorney. What does that say about you? Like you live in Atlanta with some of the top attorneys there and this was the best that you can come up with. I, I, I don't buy it. I do not buy it at all. There are too many talented people in Atlanta for you to hire a cr criminal defense attorney for a civil case who is completely incompetent. I, I just refuse to believe this was the best that you could do. I truly do. But those are all my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Those of you, if it's your first time viewing my channel, welcome. Please check out my playlist and other things I've discussed in the past. Those of you who've been back multiple times, thank you so much for your continued support. I'm grateful, thankful, and appreciative in each and every single one of you. You guys are amazing. You guys are engaging in the comments, and I love your reactions. So keep them coming. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.